Thank you so much and um, you are welcome to this video teaching. And um, on this video teaching, I'll be sharing with you um, revelation, uh, information about three reasons why you should pay your tithe to your church and to your pastor. Now, this is simple. The, the debate is online, it's everywhere. Even the strongest critics of the payment of tithe to churches and to pastors are coming from Christians. Coming from, and it's very, very funny. Very funny that this is happening in the body of Christ. This is happening in the body of Christ. Now, I'm going to be showing you three reasons. And so many years ago, I wrote an ebook on this topic, a book on it, a whole book on this topic. Thank God for the Holy Spirit, for inspiration. Uh, it's tightening a godly practice, and it has helped some, a lot of people online and offline. So now, I'm going to be giving you this, those three reasons. Now, before I start out, at the Visionary Business Project, which I'm the founder by the grace of God, uh, we love the kingdom economy. We love to talk about money, finances, and how that can be useful to you and also to, in the body of Christ, the body of Christ. Now, don't be a hypocrite and begin to think that money is not important. Only Christians who are hypocrites say that. Now, God says, silver and gold are mine. He said that. He said that. He boasted about that. He boasted that. So many areas where the God used his servant to demonstrate kingdom wealth on the heart. We have all of that in the Bible. So don't say it is not important. The Bible says money is a defense. Money is a defense. So money is useful in the body of Christ. It's useful to your life, useful to your family, useful to your business, useful in the body of Christ. So don't be a hypocrite and say it is not useful. So if it is useful, then if it is useful to you, your business, your family, then it is useful in the kingdom of God. It is useful in the kingdom of God. So tithing is one of the ways we bring res money resources into the church, into the kingdom of God. You see, all the resources that God will use to finance his work on this earth are already on this earth. And you are supposed to be a representative of God. A representative of God. So don't get involved in that debate. Don't get, I've read, done some videos on this. Don't get involved in that business. Don't be a critic. Don't criticize the payment of titans churches and to pastors is wrong. Now, um, I'll be showing you these three reasons and I believe you will learn so much. And I want to read your comment. Now, the, the first reason you will find that in the book of Numbers 18 verse 24. And um, But the tithe of the children of Israel, which they offer as an Eve offering unto the Lord, I have given to the Levites to inherit. That's God speaking to the children of Israel. Now, let me tell you something here. Now, the, the situation at that time is still the situation today. Yes, the Levites are the workers in the temple. They are the workers in the temple. Now, they are the priests in the temple. They work in the temple. They work for the Lord and they work for the people. But God said, don't give them um, land inheritance because he was their inheritance. So now this is God now telling the children of Israel to pay their tithe to the Levite. To pay their tithe to the Levite. So today we still have temples, we still have churches, we still have workers in the churches, we still have priests in the churches. So if God asked the children of Israel to do that so many years ago, why would God not be interested in you doing that today? When we still have the same situation on ground, same situation on ground, why would they not be interested in you doing that? Don't listen to the lies of the devil. Uh, they will advise you, they ask you to take your money to the clubs and for parties and all of that, yes. But you, you should understand that the first, there should be first thing first. For there should be so, for something that is uppermost in your mind, in your life. And that's the expansion of the kingdom of God. That should be number one in your heart, in your mind. And that is where your resources should go to. Your, your, resources, your resources should be in this place. It should be in the kingdom of God. It should be in the church where you worship. And tithing is one of the ways you bring your, your money resources into the church where you worship. And it's one of the ways you sow into the life of of a minister of God that God has placed over your life. So it was necessary then and it's still necessary today. And then you remember we are spiritual Jews. We have been connected to, 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 to Abraham 
through salvation. We have been connected to Abraham through salvation. So if God gave the instruction to Jews then, he's also giving instruction to us, the spiritual Jews today. So take your tithe to the church. Pay it to pastors over your head. People will teach you the word of God. People will influence you spiritually. It's very important. That's the number one reason why I believe you should take your tithe to the church. Pay your tithe to your church. Number two, you can find that in Numbers 18 verse 26. And when you take of the children of Israel the tithe which I have given you from them for your inheritance. Can you see that statement? God said, which I have given you from them. So what does that mean? It means you are paying the tithe, but God is giving the tithe to the Levite through you. What does that mean? That means you are a partner with God. God is doing that through you. Is it not a beautiful thing if God is doing something through you? It's a beautiful thing. You should love that. Everybody should enjoy that. I believe you want to be a partner with God. So God wants to bless the lives of the Levites. God is doing that through you. So paying your tithe in the church where you worship is not a sin. It's not. It's not a sin. It's, it's, it's a righteous thing. God wants it. God wants you to do it. God wants you to do it. So that is the second reason. Now let us look at the third reason. Um, I'm taking that from the book of Genesis 14, verse 20, very popular story. And blessed be the most high God, which has delivered your enemies into your hand, and he gave him a tithe of all. That's the story of Abraham and Melchizedek. That's the story of Abraham and Melchizedek. You know the story, Abraham did what? Abraham was given victory in the battle. Then when he was coming back, he met, Melchizedek met him. And the Mekisedek said, Blessed be the God who gave you victory. Blessed be the God who gave you victory. And then um, Abraham has a form of worship, a form of worship of God Almighty, paid his tithe unto him. Now, Abraham paid tithe. Remember, I said we have been connected to Abraham through salvation. If, if Abraham did that as a form of worship, we should also do that as a form of worship. Remember so many people have said, uh, it's the law, the law is gone, this is the period of grace. Abraham paid tight before the law came into being. Several years before the law came into being. So it was a form of worship unto God. God, you gave me victory, you kept me alive, you kept me alive, and I'm worshipping you. I'm worshipping you, and he paid tight of all. He paid tight of all. So tithing is a worship. Is your way, one of the ways you worship the Lord. One of the ways you worship the Lord. Using your resources in the body of Christ, uh, putting your tithe in your church to your pastor, is one of the ways you worship the Lord. It's very important you should understand that. You should understand that. So, so when people have argued about 10%, 10%, 10% today is kindergarten in the kingdom, in kingdom prosperity. When you talk about kingdom prosperity, is kindergarten ten percent? So many people don't even. I we don't. I don't even think about ten percent. It's small. It's even small. I'm telling you, it's even small because God can require the all percent from you. I call it the all percent in my book. It's tightening the God the practice. The all percent. That was what Jesus said in the New Testament. Love the Lord your God with all your heart. All, all. So God can request the all from you. The same thing in the book of Acts of Apostles, the disciples sold their lands and brought all to the feet of the disciples. That's bigger than 10%. That's bigger than 10%. So, so you shouldn't be arguing over 10% when you spend lots of money in clubs for parties and for unnecessary things. No, this is the end time. This is the end time and the battle is raging and God is actually watching out for people who will love his kingdom, the expansion of his kingdom with all their hearts. And one of the ways you can show that is your, by tithing. And tithing. We bring your resources into the body of Christ. Bringing your resources into the body of Christ. And some people have said, because my pastor is living large and all of that, what is your own about that? If so far you are in that church and he's blessing you spiritually, pay your tithe there. Pay your tithe there. You don't muzzle the mouth of the ox that threshes the corn. You don't muzzle it. You don't muzzle it. That's sharing spiritual blessings unto you week in, week out. You should also share your material blessings with the church, with the pastors that are blessing you spiritually. If you think it's wasting your money, it's not your, it's not your duty. You have done your own duty. 
God called him, leave God and him alone. You didn't call him. You have done your own duty. That's the most important thing. And most of I have always told Christians, you must ensure you worship in a church that God is, has led you to. You see, you need leading to, work, to get into the right place to worship today. Because of so many things that are around today. This is the end time. There are wolves in sheep's clothing, I agree. But if God leads you to a church, to a man of God, and you are worshiping there, then you should understand that you need to put your material things there. God is the will of God. You don't muzzle the mouth of the earth that treasures the corn. Paul said, he said, you say, if I sow spiritual things unto you, don't I deserve your material things? Don't I deserve your material things? In the wilderness, God commanded the children, after they left Egypt, He commanded them to come and sow. To come and sow. In the wilderness, even at that state, He commanded them to come and sow. So God is always watching out how you make use of your material things, material resources. And Titan gives you an opportunity to put to get to put on ground a template of using your material things in the body of Christ. Paying it in your church is very, very 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 important and um, i want you i want to read your comment i want you to share this video to to like this video and go over those uh, bible text once again and then um, let me read from you let me tell you you first must tie your life to christ if you are not born again tie it to christ give your first to christ your life give your heart to christ uh, become born become a child of god it's important you should do that if you are not born again, you need to say a simple prayer. Ask God to forgive you. Ask Him to use the blood of Jesus to wash you from your sin. Then, if you say this prayer sincerely from your heart, then that means you have become a child of God. I want you to write to me. I'll send you gifts and material, material, that, material things that will help you so that you can grow in your faith. Thank you so much for watching this video. I believe you are going to share this video with your friends.